ticket and everything in my pocket. And man, and I go disrespect them. I go hop right on the bike. Man, man just like real, man. Hot boy, really get here, man. I'm gonna choose them. So what y'all gonna say? What y'all gonna say now? What y'all gonna say now? What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and what's the numbers I provided. Today we're back with another profile piece. This one is on Dirt Bike Rail. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Rail's younger years growing up in the rough city of Philadelphia. Then we will talk about his love for dirt bikes and the attention it brought him after going viral on the internet for his tricks and stunts. And lastly, we will take a look at the situation surrounding dirt bike rail's death and the questions that still go unanswered. Kyrell Taylor, better known as Dirt Bike Rail, is from the southwest section of Philadelphia. Growing up there would be tough, as the area was known to be pretty rough. Philly for years has been in the top 5 or 10 for murders annually, but it's also known as a city of brotherly love. Just like any other place, it really comes down to the crowd you run with and the situations you put yourself in. Rel would eventually start to find his way a bit once he fell in love with riding dirt bikes. And after actually getting good on the bikes and linking up with his crew, that would be known as the Hot Boys, the name Dirt Bike Rel would start to gain clout in the city and also on the internet after clips of his tricks and stunts were uploaded to Instagram, YouTube, and Vine. Philly rapper Meek Mill was big on the bike life scene at the time and an advocate for it also. Although even with the younger Chino for his sponsorship, many say Dirt Bike Rail should have been the choice, as some believe he was a better rider than Chino. But Meek was definitely aware of Dirt Bike Rail and his skills, as he shouts him out numerous times on social media for being one of the best riders in the city. With his local celebrity status and newfound internet fame intact, it looked like Dirt Bike Rail would be the new face of street riding and bike life. Finally, an urban rider who could cross over the motocross and take it to the next level. As it was said, Rail had dreams of becoming a high level arena rider also. But sadly, before Dirt Bike Rail could take his God given talent to the next level and start to reap the benefits, he would be shot and killed in October 2014 as he sat in his car in Southwest Philadelphia. No one will be arrested for the crime to this day, but his family continues to search for justice for Dirt Bike Rail. But yo, with What's the Numbers TV is a quick profile piece on Kyle Rail Tyler, better known as Dirt Bike Rail. And due to the whole bike life scene, you probably know about Dirt Bike Rail. Or if you was watching or in tune when it was taking off, you might have seen some of the videos with his tricks and all that. Might not knew exactly who it is, but you might have seen his videos. But you know, Dirt Bike Rail is probably one of the top riders at the time. Definitely one of the best coming out of Philadelphia. You know, me shining different lights on the um, bike life at the time for different sponsorships, like I said. And you know, he was probably going to be, he went, with, he went with Chino, like I said. Chino was younger at the time, so, you know, him and Rail was about the same age. So maybe he was looking for like more like a young boy that he could... You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm pretty sure Rel was going to be pretty next up, you know what I'm saying? Because he had a, a following already, definitely a following in the East Coast, like in the uh, you know, Northeast and all that. So, shout out to him, rest in peace to him. There ain't been no arrest in his murders, like I said. Now, it could have been some jealousy, some local issues, some just some beef, who knows, some hate. But, you know, they had, there's a lot of rumors, no, no definite answers, no arrest. So, as of right now, it's an unsolved murder. But like I said, his family is, you know, still looking for justice. You know, a lot of people sh shout him out in songs, like Quilly got a song that he shouts him out in. I'm not sure if me put him in a song, but I know he shouts him out on social media sometimes. And um, different rappers from the city also shout him out, but I ain't gonna hold your head too long, man. Make sure you subscribe to What's the Numbers TV. The email's in the description. You wanna get at me on some business, the Patreon, the membership, all that good stuff. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. It's your boy, Poe Row. We'll be back before you know it, man. We out of here. Peace.